Sherlock Series 3, how's it coming along? Uh, two, two down, <laughs> two down, one to go. Uh, we've had a slight break as, uh, as Martin's gone back to New Zealand to uh, do some more filming on The Hobbit. Uh, and we're just about to start, when do we actually start shooting again? Very soon, darling, we start shooting very soon. But yes. we now have all the scripts. Uh, we start yeah, shooting no. in <laughs> two weeks' time. Oh, oh yeah. Now, Mark, you're penning the first episode back this series, yeah. is that right? It's done. It's done. And how difficult was it, you know? That fin finishing up you know, that cliffhanger and resolving all of that? Well, obviously, we, we knew where we were going to go, but uh, it was kind of a thrilling um, challenge. Yeah, the, 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 the natural weight of expectation and, and playing with those things, and in fact, sort of trying to work out exactly how long you could delay it before they meet again <laughs> without it becoming uh, annoying. But uh, it, it, was, it was great fun to do, actually. And, and I do think the, um, the moment when they see each other again is makes my hair stand on end. It's just they do it. Benedict and Martin do it so beautifully, and it's just pregnant with import. You know, just the idea. If you imagine what it would be like if someone you thought your best friend you thought was gone just suddenly turns up, and uh, in the original story, um, Dr. Watson kind of forgives him straight away, and we just thought it'd be much more interesting to discover that no, you can't do this, Sherlock. Mm -hmm. What stories can we expect to be adapted this time round, and will there be close adaptations, or will you stray from the source material? Oh, well, do you know, there are very few Sherlock Holmes stories you can do, uh, even as close as we get at it. I studied in Pink, is relatively close to uh, studying Scarlet. Uh, Hands of Basket was relatively close to the... Uh, uh, but that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's it. I mean, the rest of them, I mean, uh, uh, the first half an hour of a scandal in Belgravia is a scandal in Bohemia, and it's reasonably accurate, given that it's updated. Uh, and after that, we have to go freeforming because there's nothing left, left nothing left to, to well, uh, adapt or run out of plot. So they are sort of new stories. But what, what, what we're uh, what we do very efficiently is harvest all the really good stuff from Doyle that no one has ever noticed. There's so much great stuff in there, people never touch, uh, and we're always finding it and always using it. I just uh, started episode three, uh, looking for a great entrance for Sherlock Holmes, and uh, I just went back to the original stories and found one. And now the empty hearse suggests the empty house. So, I mean, how close an adaptation is this of the Conan Doyle original? Not very. I mean, uh, it's, I think, even the most dyed-in-the-blood <laughs> Doyle uh, fan would, would acknowledge that The Empty House is really just an excuse to bring him back. Yeah. As a locked room mystery, it's not very uh, successful. There's an open window. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've kept a few bits and pieces, but mostly it's a new story with, 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 a, with a strong element of the, um, of the return being... The, 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 the reason for it. Yeah. And what about Sebastian Moran? Ah, well, you have to wait and see. <laughs> what about Mycroft this year? I mean, how, how large a role do you play in, in this series? Because I think he had a, a slightly larger role in the second series. Mm. Well, quite a lot. Um, I can't really give too much away. But it's, um, yeah, it's very interesting. Three, you know, three years in, we've got a sort of uh, regular cast and, and trying to find interesting ways that they respond to Sherlock's return. And then, of course, we've got to, we've got to get on with the... F we can't just keep living in the shadow of that. So, uh, so I think that's the most important thing, is to, is, to, is to enjoy how these people, like Mrs Hudson and Molly and Mycroft, all respond to the reappearance of this man in their lives. Now, uh, Benedict apparently confirmed Series 4 himself, <laughs> just made an announcement. <laughs> I mean, has there been any official word yet on a fourth series? Or? Well, look, if, it, if everyone's willing to do it, uh, which apparently they are, uh, and, uh, and it suddenly doesn't become a tremendous flop, then of course it'll continue. Um, it's, it's, um, it's having a scheduling meeting, really. That's what yeah. it's just trying to fit in everyone's schedules. But. Quite complex. There's a lot of other, other projects also being covered at this Comic Con that can get in the way. Something I have to ask you as well have you written a guest role for Roger Moore yet in Sherlock? <laughs> Not yet. I have to say, as you can imagine, that was one of the happiest days of my life, getting that tweet. Well, I might be equally wonderful in Sherlock or Doctor Who. Oh, I was so thrilled. But, you know, uh, it's not really how things work, but, uh, I mean, it would be delightful.